Mexican culture has always been fascinating to me for its food, music, charming men, and warm, toasty beauties. So I'm curious to know just what Mexican ladies have in their clay pots when it comes to natural beauty therapies. And luckily for me, I'm going to do just that with one such Mexican beauty this week at the residence of the Mexican ambassador. The vibrant land of Mexico, or as it's politically known, the United Mexican States, is made up of 31 states and a federal district. Mexico spans almost 2 million square kilometers and is the 14th largest country in the world, and I think the most passionate as well. With a population of 109 million, Mexico is simply a melting pot brimming with an ethnic diversity, ranging from the Mestizos, who are of mixed Spanish and Amerindian ancestry, Afro-Mexicans and Caucasians, to its indigenous peoples and Asian immigrants. Mexican food today features three important ingredients, corn, black beans and chili. This is the staple diet of the ravishing and beautiful senoritas of the country. It was the Mexicans who introduced the world to music such as mariachi, ranchera and corridos and fiery, passionate artists like Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. The Spanish ambassador to Singapore, His Excellency Mr. Gomez Camacho, has served here since 2006 and he's married to Mrs. Alejandre Gomez. Now there is such a rich tapestry of experiences to be had in the Mexican culture that I'm just about ready for anything Mexican right now. And in fact, that's just what's going to happen. Because Mrs. Gomez has invited me to brunch where I am about to experience the Mexican way of food for beauty. I have been here for two and a half years and my experience is fantastic, you know. Singapore is very much like Mexico. We have many, many things in common, like the spicy food. Well, we, when we get to Singapore, we got this colonial house and uh, we like it very much. We have a lot of space and also a nice place to entertain. We use a lot the veranda. We love to eat there with the family and have, you know, dinners with friends and showing a little bit of Mexico. Well, those murals are from an artist. She's called Rosario Giovannini and uh, she uses a very traditional, you know, very, very traditional techniques. I also like the ceramics, you know, like the base that we have there. Those are from Tonalá in Jalisco. And uh, well, they always use the blue cobalt, which is very typical of Mexico. And that also using the Talavera. Talavera is another kind of ceramics that at the beginning comes from Spain and then Mexicans made themselves their own, you know, their own type of Talavera. Hi Anita, how are you? Como esta? Muy bien, gracias. Thank you. I practiced my language skills before coming. Very well. Am I doing good? Very well. Very Thank good. you so Muy much. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Okay, you have to teach me more as the day goes on. Of course. You know, I'm going to be here for a while. Okay, great. Because this is a remarkable spot. Look at this house. This is wonderful. Thank you, Anita. You know, we really enjoyed this place. Please have a seat. Thank you. I'm going to offer you, you know, something that we give in Mexico to guests. This is horchata. It's called horchata. Horchata. Thanks very it much. It is very refreshing, you know. You can drink it in the morning, afternoon, or even at night. If we were in Mexico, what would we be saying? Well, in Mexico, you will say salud. Salud. Bienvenida. Bienvenida. Mmm. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. It's a really pretty, clean taste. Yes, 
tastes were right, mm -hmm. and it's very refreshing. Isn't yeah, it, it <laughs> tastes amazing. What is in this? The horchata is a healthy drink, rumored to be good for hangovers. Ingredients: one cup of long grain rice, half a cup of sugar, one cinnamon stick, two vanilla pods, half a cup of water. Method: in a saucepan, combine rice, sugar, cinnamon stick, vanilla pods, and water. Set aside for three hours. After three hours, heat ingredients on a stove and bring to a boil. Reduce heat and simmer for 30 minutes. Blend rice mixture in a blender until smooth. Strain mixture through a cheesecloth or a fine sieve. Flavor with cinnamon powder and serve chilled. The people of Mexico take great pride in their country, culture, ethnicity, lifestyle and economic independence. They also place importance on having strong family ties, being respectful, hardworking and sociable in the community. And I can certainly sense this about Mrs. Gomez, the wife of the Mexican ambassador. Okay, Anita, please this way. We're going to have brunch. Brunch and a lot more bachata as well. Yes, of course, you can have as much as you want. <laughs> Great place. I love this. What a nice space. Thank you, Anita. Thank you. Well, you know, we try to have some Mexican things like the paintings or the ceramics, love you know, it. just to make it the feel of Mexico. Wonderful. I'm feeling Mexican. <laughs> Good. At least today you are. She's Elvira, Anita, love it to meet you. Alejandra. Alejandra. Another Alejandra. Yes. Perfect. Wonderful. <laughs> so let's start with the food. So please have a seat. So Alejandra, how did you come to Singapore? I came with a multinational company. I'm working here. I brought my three girls and my husband one year ago. Both of them come from Mexico City. Right. I come from Guadalajara. Nice. So you both lived in, in Mexico City at the same time? Yes. yes. We were together in school. No. Yes, we were together in school, in primary school. I was very happy to find her here. Oh, here, you know, we have the first course. Mm. We're having cactus. Salad. This is really special for you, Anita. So you mean cactus, cactus? Yes, cactus. cactus. Now this has to be a special kind of cactus before everybody who's listening to us goes out in the garden and just cuts any old cactus. Oh no. This is a special kind of cactus. It's actually called nopalitos. Nopalitos. And they sell it in every single market in Mexico and it's very healthy. You know the, the nopal has a lot of healthy properties, like it lowers your glucose. And also it's good for the skin. Really? Yes, it's fantastic. Well, I think we have to finish it. You know, you have to eat it with this, Anita, okay? These are totopos. Tortopos? Totopos. You know, they, it's a tortilla, then you cut it in triangles. As you can see, also, we have avocado in this salad. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. It's <laughs> wonderful. I'm looking at this dish and thinking, here we have another really colorful, amazing looking dish. I already was in love with the cactus salad. <laughs> well, if you think that's amazing, wait for this one, you know. We're having chile en hogada. This is a very complicated dish. Has many, many ingredients in it. So please try it. In the inside, you can find like fruits, like pears. Now I'm tasting walnuts in this creamy sauce oh, on the top. That's because in the white sauce is made of walnuts cream cheese and a little bit of milk. Wow. Now, nuts are not something I would have associated with Mexican food. I know. Actually, the chile en nogada has an interesting story behind it. Chile en nogada was first created for our independence hero, Iturbide. As he was signing the independence letter, they wanted a dish that would have the colors of the Mexican flag. And that's how it was created. That's a great story. And I just realized, yes, that it is the three colors of the Mexican flag. Yes. Right on your plate. That's beautiful. So now we're having our mango mousse. Wow, so that looks gorgeous. It's really light, you know, mm. it's very light. You're sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm trying to taste the tequila. Mmm. <laughs> There's yes. a hint of tequila. A hint of tequila. And then this nice. is special coffee. No, it's Mexican. It's called Café de Olla. I'm going to have a little smell. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, and it's made with cinnamon and molasses. Beautiful, sweet and slightly smoky flavor to the coffee, actually. But this is something I'd like to share with all of you. 
Molasses can actually be used for the hair. You can use it to create shine and body. Mm, wow. You know, I have been listening to all of you so intently and taking lots of little notes in my diary. And now I have a real good idea of what it is to eat in Mexico, the kinds of flavors and textures, the colors that you have. And I think that I could easily put together a really great Mexican beauty recipe. That's great, Anita. We look forward. Absolutely, and I love to experiment, and I'd love to come back and share it with you. Sure, we wait for you. You know, you now know the address, so you know where we are. That would be fantastic. What a glorious week it's been. I've been feeling so energized and productive, so I'm glad I'm finally settling down, but my mind is still very much on yummy Mexican food that has touched my soul and, of course, awakened my palate. I think I'm not quite done yet with my recent obsession with all things Mexico, and I'm going to have to find a way to ruffle things up a little on my next shopping trip. The weather's perfect, I've got my sunnies. I can't think of a better time to ir de compra. Grocery shopping in Mexico takes place in open markets around the country. Shopping in these open markets is just as important as it is for most of us Asians. In fact, it's a must as Mexicans are really particular about fresh ingredients in their cooking. No stroll through a Mexican marketplace, however, would be complete without a bolsa. And I got mine from a dear friend a few years ago. Woven from polymesh, bolsas come in a variety of colors in plaid weave designs, like you see here. And they're extremely durable, so you'll never have to worry about it ever spilling the beans, so to speak. The first item on my Mexican shopping list, the avocado. Today, avocados enjoy a reputation for being a healthy, nutritious fruit because it has 60% more potassium than bananas and it's rich in vitamins B, E and K. It nourishes from the inside out and has been known to be a great moisturizer, so I'm definitely needing them for my beauty treatment. Molasses, a thick syrup byproduct that is produced when sugar cane or beet sugar is made into sugar. The word molasses comes from the Portuguese word melaco, which comes from mel, the Portuguese word for honey. Walnuts are one of the best plant sources of protein. They are rich in fiber, vitamin B, magnesium, and antioxidants such as vitamin E. All the reasons I'm using this for my beauty treatment. Looks like I've got my entire list of ingredients. Now all there is is to rustle up a great Mexican beauty treat with Mrs. Gomez. love and music. These are the three things Mexicans live for. So after an encounter with its food, its history and hospitality, I was now yearning to see what they had up their sleeves for entertainment. Hopefully all this song and dance will give me a bit more inspiration for the hair mask I'll be sharing with the Mexican ambassador's wife, Mrs. Gomez, later. Think Richie Valens, the 50s pop icon, and you are reminded of the dance craze La Bamba. However, contrary to popular belief, the La Bamba is actually a folk song that originated in the Mexican state of Veracruz over 300 years ago. But thanks to Richie, La Bamba became a worldwide hit in the 50s and again in the late 80s. The dance associated with La Bamba is often performed in weddings at Veracruz by the bride and groom. Cruz, 
And like every other traditional folk dance, La Bamba is still a great source of exercise for ordinary folks from all walks of life who love the music and dance. After some fabulous Mexican entertainment, I am now back at the Ambassador's residence and ready to share my new Mexican beauty secret with Mrs. Gomez. What a great setup you have for us here. Thank you, Anita. I'm going to put these chilies here. I was wondering what that was about. Well, I just want to show you. Remember the other day that we have that brunch? Mm -hmm. The chile en nogada. Of course. How could I forget? This is the chili that you had with the chile en nogada. Look at the size. I gotta get the big one. This is as big as my face. But you know that chili also is very good for your health? Actually, I do know a little bit about chilies. I know that they are very high in vitamin A and C. That's right. And this is what you want to know. They burn fat. Yes, you're right. You know chilies. Well, these look beautiful and I am so glad you brought them here because they look great and add wonderful Mexican flavor to the table. But we are really here to make a hair mask. Fantastic. Sounds good. Okay. Nice to know that you're excited about it because you are going to be helping me. Okay. You just let me know. What can what? I do? First up, we're going to go with some avocados. Now we've got avocados for this, some walnuts. Mm -hmm. And you remember how surprised I was at yes, walnuts? I remember. Let me have a taste. <laughs> nice, a really nice and crunchy, crispy one. And we're going to put some molasses in it as well. Mm, so molasses. first up, I need the pulp of three of these. Okay. And I'm going to leave that to you because I think you would be the avocado expert amongst us. You know, avocado is really good for your hair. It increases your volume, the volume of your hair. It looks great. It's very good for moisturizing your skin also. Okay, while you're doing that, I've got these wonderful walnuts here, these beauties. I need about a tablespoon of walnuts, and that would be about three pieces, but I always like to have a little extra because we like indulgence on this show. Four. So in we go. Now the reason I'm actually going to pound these up is because with nuts, and especially walnuts, mm -hmm. when you take them fresh and you actually pound them, it releases the oil, and that's just perfect for softening your hair. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to pound these up. All of our ingredients are 100% authentic Mexican, and I hope you approve. Yes, 100% approve. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna scoop this into your fine avocado mixture. Okay. Just two beautiful tablespoons worth. So I keep moving this? That's it. Stirring it? Nice, very, very nice. Okay, so we will be your next ingredient? The molasses. Oh, of yeah. course. That sounds good. Smells great. Have a little... Mm, look at the color. Nice. Great. Huh? And here we go. Oh, look at that. Wow. But it doesn't just look good. It actually softens the hair and it works really well if you have a sensitive scalp. Oh, so, I didn't know that. Yep. Now that we are doing this hair mask, mm. I think I have a special ingredient that Bring can it help. On. Bring it on. You want me to go? Okay, I will, I will come back. And while you're away, I'm going to take over the stuff. Please. Okay. Okay, so Anita, look what I get for you. Oh, wow. You know, we have just got this from my garden. No, look at this. So this is the famous cactus. Yes, the real cactus. I can't believe this has to be so much of hard work to get it to this. Well, no, actually you just have to clean it. Mm -hmm. Take out the spines, of course, because they are really dangerous. Yep. And then you can boil it, you know. And it's ready. Yes, it's ready. And I'm sure you have to use something on your hands because... Yes, you have to, you know. It's really dangerous to handle like that. And, yes. and what is the benefit that it's going to give the recipe? Well, you know that the um, cactus juice is very well known to uh, prevent hair loss. Really? It would be great for our... Awesome. Well, here goes. I'm going to put it right into here. Mm. Wonderful. What a great, great ingredient. Thank you. That would be really Mexican then. This is going to be super Mexican. Lovely. 
Oh, look at that. Nice. So you can already see the juice there. Yes. So this is perfect then. Perfect. No hair loss. No. There's a little bit of pulp, but I think that's pretty good. Yes, that would be fine. Oh, nice. It has just softened the mixture enough mm -hmm. to be able to hold onto the hair. And it's going to make a perfect hair mask. How long you have to put it on your hair? I would say for a hair mask to really do its work, leave it on for about 30 minutes. In fact, those 30 minutes are starting now. <laughs> I'm gonna try some, actually. Okay, you want me to help you? To I'd love to, yes, thank you. Okay, so look at the, the texture. Yeah. This texture is so is rich, it good? you know. Let me try. Wow, this feels so nice. It's really, really rich. Lovely. You can hmm. see it. So I guess you just put it all over, right? Yeah. We start at the bottom and we'll work our way up. And while we're doing that, um, I have this feeling that I need to have some cactus salad. I don't suppose you have any leftovers. Okay, let's have, have a look. And if not, we can always cut some cactus from the garden. Fantastic, come on. Moisturizing Mexican hair mask. Method, remove the flesh of the avocados from the seed. Mash thoroughly in a mixing bowl until a paste-like consistency. Pound walnuts in a mortar. Add in pounded walnuts, molasses and cactus juice to the paste. Mix evenly and use immediately. Leave on hair for 30 minutes and rinse off with warm water. It has been such a whirlwind beauty trip for me to Mexico, as I have discovered how so many of its local yet diverse produce is used to give its people a radiant glow unique to the Latina. It's a hue that's been romanticized in many of its beauties, from Salma Hayek to Eva Longoria. And perhaps it's this warm glow that will always have me hooked.